Alrighty, so here we are for another episode, episode 7. Um, I think I'm up to 10 or 11 videos now. This will make 12 or 13, depending on how well I count. Um, another layout update. Going to review a few things going on on our workbench like normal. We've got a mail call in the video, and then we'll go down to the layout. Uh, layout doesn't look a ton different. Um, made some track changes. Um, mainly I'm trying to finalize my building placement. Uh, I hope to get the pink foam painted with uh, like a greenish brown ground color this weekend. Uh, the next step after that will be ballasting the track, but I'm still trying to iron out some imperfections and unhappiness I have with certain sections of my track. Uh, once I get all that done, then we'll start ballasting, and then we'll start scenery. So give me a second, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I got going on on the workbench. <coughs> give a little short talk about the electrical setup for my layout, and how I plan on doing my first operation session uh, here, hopefully in the next couple days. See you in a sec. So, my workbench is a little messy. I've got a couple buildings up here that are getting some custom decals done um, changing the name of the stores gonna put a different bull board up we're naming our gas station I put the gas pumps on a little board for temporary um, this is gonna become a little boat shop uh, that locomotives in the middle of an LED upgrade it's part of one of my passenger stations the other half is over there on the ground uh, he's just waiting for some more foam to go on the layout so I can put him down there. Uh, as you're going to see in the mail call, may have some more passenger stations. So you'll just have to wait and find out. Um, next big thing is the electrical for my layout. This is my MRC Tech 2 power supply dual throttle. Uh, one set of terminals is for uh, throttle one, one set of terminals is for throttle two. That's my AC bus. This is my switch panel. Uh, they're all going to get green diodes at some point to signify that the track is on. That's why the diodes are in line there. Uh, all those switches jump over my main bus to the direct tracks. Uh, as you can see, this is my 4x8 layout. My DC bus just go or AC bus just goes down the middle. Uh, the intent with that is I can, most of my buildings are in the middle, I can just tie everything in without doing too much work. Um, it's going to be a custom powered AC bus. It's actually not going to stay powered from there. I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet. Probably going to build a small AC power supply. But other than that, I just have two main buses running basically underneath the two main tracks so I can drop feeders and tie into it wherever needed. Um, I'm not doing um, block control or any of that with my tracks. Um, my intent is to actually make this easy to convert to DC when I start growing my track. Um, either way, it's just a very simple way to wire it. If I ever wanted to do zone control, I basically just interrupt where my feeders are and don't really have to change much. Um, but right now I have a set of feeders for each track, basically right around the corners. Um, just for some references, my turnouts and everything are over here. My yard tracks are over here. I have another uh, spur track over here. Bridge and lake is over there. Um, that's just real simple. Uh, it's not a fancy schematic. I just did this in Photoshop, mainly for my own reference purposes. So I had something to refer to, but it's all in my head and subject to change. I also mentioned in my intro, I wanted to learn how to do an operation session. I don't think I'm fancy enough, nor do I have a layout big enough to do all kinds of waybill cards and, and everything else. So I'm kind of making this up as I go along. You may find out I'm not doing it right or even close to wrong. Um, but I loosely based this off of something I saw on New Haven Rails on his channel on his wheel report. Um, basically, I'm going to have a list of cars the numbers, where it is, where I got to go to, you know, whether it's uh, 
loaded or empty, and any applicable notes. I have some industries that are on my layout already. Um, my coal plant is going to end up being a General Mills plant. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that yet. Uh, one of my buildings is the Frisbee Pie Company. I have two staging tracks. One will represent stuff coming into the layout. One will represent stuff going off the layout. I have my two passenger stations, a small farm, a warehouse. Uh, and for now, I actually do have my coal plant on here. Because I may do something separate for that. I just know I want General Mills because I want to put a cereal billboard on my layout. So, I'm going to make some stuff up in the next couple days and see how the well this works. Eventually, I hope to get a lot more in depth with operations. But I have a small layout. I'm going to start simple. Shut back down and shut your trap. It's time for mail call. So, I just wanted to show up or uh, show what showed up in the mail today for today's mail call. I got another passenger kit. I now have three passenger stations. We've got that guy right there who is uh, already built and just waiting for a spot on the layout. Got one that's down on the layout and then this one which is to be built that I picked up on eBay for only a couple bucks. I also, <coughs> this is less for the train side, more for the electronic side, got a new case of resistors mainly because I ran out. And when it comes to LED conversions, resistors are important. That's it for today's mail call segment. Back to the rest of the video. I have one late addition to mail call. This guy popped in today in the mail. It's actually kind of got lost in the mail for a while. So I'm glad he finally showed up. Um, he's not going to stay Penn Central. Uh, catwalk's going to go away. I've got some metal trucks that are going to go on. He's going to get new couplers. He's going to get repainted. And he's actually going to be a custom box car for one of the industries on my layout for the Frisbee Pie Company. Uh, probably just going to do a simple one color paint scheme and uh, put the logo and some of the other information on there. I haven't quite decided how I was going to do it yet. Really only came to the decision that I wanted to do that today. So that's the late addition to mail call. I will uh, return you back to your regularly scheduled programming. And hey there, we are down at the layout now. Doesn't look like much because I've robbed some of the buildings to take them upstairs to work at. But I do have my train station down here. My coal plant or whatever I'm going to change it to is right there. I replaced the switches over here. I took out the switches over there, so it's just two long stretches of track on that side. I'm actually thinking about changing this to a um, double crossover or the, uh, the X crossover, whatever you want to call those things. But as it stands right now, this is going to be foam, so it's equal to the rest. I've got a passenger station going over here. Not really sure what I'm doing. Gonna have a little farm industry out there on the outside of my main line. I know that's not necessarily normal, and to load anything there, I'd have to stop a track or stop a car on the main line. But it's my layout, so I do what I want. I've got a pie factory over there, my engine, main or my everything maintenance facility, my KFC. Uh, those are gonna be some businesses. There's gonna be another something right there. My street's gonna kind of go down here, come around this way. Curve back into here. Now I've got a station, movie theater, firehouse, whatever I decide that to be. A house, my gas station was in here. Um, so there'll be some stuff here. The road will also go that way. I'm um, probably going to have a little dirt road crossing over there. There's uh, some houses behind there. But that's the uh, extent of the layout. The only switch I have that's not right in here accessible is. Over there, it's a remote switch I have to hook up, and it'll come back over here and get its own switch. Um, I know, not all that exciting. I'm um, starting to run out of uh, problem track areas, which is a good thing, I guess. Uh, the trains are starting to run smoother and smoother as I fix some minor issues. Mainly, I 
moved a little too quick when installing all my track. Um, so there were some areas that could have been done better. But being my first, it's my first layout, I really can't complain that I've only had a few issues. So that's about it for the layout. You can see my uh, headlights on my locomotive over there. I will see you guys next time.